Maxine, you ready? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Oh gosh. <laughs> my friends we're just gonna do a little project a little man project right now we're gonna plastic dip David's rims just for the heck of it if you don't know what plastic dip is it's like a spray rubber and you can just coat stuff with it and it just peels off and it doesn't affect the paint and it's great so David's gonna do it to his rims get rid of some of this bling blingy chrome that's the before we'll show you the after I used to plastic it in my truck back in the day when I was a man and I had a truck. Now I'm just a woman and I have a car. What once was chrome now is black. Finished product. I think it turned out good. Boom. We're now headed downtown. We're gonna meet up with my wife because we're married. That's what we do sometimes. And we're gonna have some Mexican food. So that's also what we do sometimes. Where are we at, Carrie Jane? Uh, Deep Elm. Deep Elm. Deep Elm. Right, Jasper? You like all the other dogs. Tell them that these are me and David's stomping grounds. These are her and David's stomping grounds. We live here. Okay, they live here. Saving up for we're with the uh, original Ride or Die crew. <laughs> Catherine, Carrie, David, Sambo. We've had a good busy afternoon so far. We went, well, Carrie did yoga in the park this morning. David and I plastic dipped his rims, which you saw. And then we went and met up for lunch with one of Carrie's friends and one of Carrie's friend's friends. Mm -hmm. And that was cool. We ate some Mexican food. Mm -hmm. And now we are gonna go get some bicycles because we've been talking about it for ages and we wanna ride bikes and the weather's finally, finally. starting to get nice. So we're gonna meet up with David and Catherine, who if my predictions are correct, should be cruising this way in about three, two, one, maybe this Toyota right here. Oh, oh is that them? Shoot, how, how, did I, how did I do that? So we're gonna go get bikes and then we're gonna ride them. Cause what do you do with bikes normally? I think you ride them, right? I don't know. I usually just put them in the back of my truck and ride around. We're gonna figure it out. We're determined to figure it out. Not sure what we'll do with them yet, but we will figure out how to use them. Do you know, Catherine? Oh, Catherine bikes? Catherine blades, bro. Catherine's blade. Oh, yeah. Do you even blade? I don't, I don't blade. even know that. Faye pulled me, and I could not, like, stop. We made it to the bikes. Now, to choose. Yeah, this one has a good selection. It's like a smorgasbord of bicicletas. It's like an all-you-can-bike buffet. Can this thing see my butt? I don't want it. Some psychopath just got off the train and chucked a freaking rock through their window. That just happened. That rock took flight. 
bounced right there, right there, right there, straight through this window. Some fool from the train over here was going crazy. Chucked it. Bay, tell us your thoughts. Was it very scary when the bad man came? <laughs> Did he hurt you? Did he touch you? Tell us more. Bang. Bad man throw rock. Turn your head if bad man threw rock. Good. <laughs> if crime scene comes and takes pictures, is that okay? Okay. And uh, who's gonna be? Who's the owner? Uh, this, I'm a resident of my son's own Okay. So just go ahead and get his Do you have your ID? Yeah. No. Uh, go ahead and write down the case. We can give you the case number so you have it in case we don't talk to you. So what will happen is. Um, Crime scene will come and they just they're just gonna take a picture of the damage, they'll take a picture of the rock. They probably won't take the rock, so you afterward. I mean they'll tell you what to do with it, just over. The guy's under arrest right now because Baylor PD, I don't know if you know the story or not, but they caught him. They went to stop him and he started fighting and like spit on the officers and stuff like that. So they're gonna take him for that today. And so since it's a different agency and um, but what they'll do is they'll this will go to a, one of our detectives and then they'll file an offense later on. Are so like become like another warrant. So if he gets back out, then they'll like issue another warrant for his wrist to put him into this. They said he did some other damage too. There was some. They talked about something about um, maybe some cars that he kicked and stuff. But we haven't talked to any like owners or anything. Mm -hmm. and we haven't seen any. He's just a crazy dude or what? Uh, that would be my guess. I didn't talk to him personally, but I would assume so. After the cops departed, and many hours later, the window company came and secured the gaping hole, which was once a window. The bad man was apprehended for trying to fight the cops. Bad, bad man. Don't throw rocks. Don't fight cops. David, Catherine, and Bay were finally able to lay down their weary heads and get a good night's rest. They clutched each other through the night and said many thanks that nothing was stolen. Carrie and I returned home and threw a brick through our window just so we could relate to them better. Just like we suspected. Not fun. <music> We've made it. This is the place. In the shade of the old oaken tree.